vlog, ituturo ko sa inyo kung paano gumawa ng travel itinerary for visa application in just simple step. But first, let's define what is travel itinerary for visa application. A travel itinerary is a schedule of events relating to planned travel, generally including destination to be visited at specified times and means of transportation to move between those destinations. What information to include in a travel itinerary for your visa application? First, the dates when you intend to enter and depart. A planned itinerary of your activities. For example, the different places that you would like to visit, the dates and short description of it. Where you will stay once you enter the country. And all the countries that you intend to visit. First, we need to write salutation. You can write the Honorable Council because we don't know the name of them. Para naman maging formal basahin yung letter natin. And you need to add your recipient address. So it will depend guys sa embassies na applyan nyo. As example, I wrote the complete address of German Embassy in Manila. And don't forget to write the reference line. You can write the subject or what kind of visa you are applying for. For example, here I wrote detailed travel itinerary for German visit visa application. Ganto na magiging itsura niya guys. Once you finish writing all the information, but take note, hindi pa to tapos. This is just the beginning. Ang tamang pagsulat ng travel itinerary for your visa application. Keep on watching guys kasi papunta pa lang tayo sa exciting part. Sa pagsulat ng travel itinerary, ang pinaka-importante guys is yung date, country, activity plan, and your accommodation. So dapat meron ka ng apat na to. Under the date, you need to write the number of the days of your stay. Sinulat ko April 26 to 27, 2022. You need to write redundant days, guys, like day 1, day 2, or to write April 26, 2022, April 27, 2022. Make it short like this. During this time, wala pa tayo sa ating destinations, so leave it blank writing your activities so for example a road flight from manila philippines to berlin germany arrival at brandenburg airport berlin for accommodation you need to write where you are in this date but during this time guys you are still in the airport so for this you can write in a means not applicable because you are still inside of the airport you just arrived and you are not yet your hotel or in someone's place your day 2 to day 4 april 28 29 2022 so you can make your date guys shorter like this and now you are already in Germany so you have your country of destination so we need to write Germany or the country where you are and your activity of the day di mong isulat lahat ng activities na gusto mong gawin di naman sa lahat ng oras ilalagay mo dito guys just write what are your interests or kung ano ba yung sa tingin mong pinakamagandang gawin during that day Accommodation. Nabanggit mo na guys sa activity plan mo that you will be checking in sa hotel so you need to provide the complete address of your hotel. You need also to include at least the email address of your hotel or the telephone number. For the embassy to use this email or telephone number to verify if you have really confirmed booking in this hotel. 
Nasa day 2 and day 4 pa lang tayo guys but for your detailed travel itinerary you need to write everything. Para hindi humaba na humaba yung travel itinerary nyo guys, follow what I did. Write only the summary of your activity plan because writing like day 1, day 2, day 3, day 4, day 5 is mostly time consuming and applicable lang siya guys for those who have short travel for example just one to two weeks ayan siya ka lang sila guys nag day to day travel itinerary guys if you are planning to stay for a longer time sa isang bansa make your travel itinerary in summarized form Continue writing guys and don't forget to include all the countries that you would like to visit. And kung hindi ka naman nag sa isang hotel, for example, day 31, May 20, 2022, you are traveling from one place to another place so you don't have a specific country or destination. In your accommodation, you can put NA or not applicable. I will not going to show you guys the whole travel itinerary that I made because it is very long. Ang importante guys, napakita ko sa inyo how I did it from date, country, plan activities, and accommodation. Copy and paste natin siya guys sa Microsoft Word para makita nyo yung finished output of this travel itinerary use your own template kasi may mga downloadable na template sa YouTube where you can easily organize your travel itinerary but ako pinipili ko yung naka-table lang to make it simple and easy to understand not so complicated but still look formal save na natin siya sa Microsoft Word and then convert natin sa PDF and guys this is how it looks like Ayan ang ating example travel itinerary. No problem sa akin guys if also you want to use my format and what kind of idea I put here in my example. Guys, this is free and I am happy to share my knowledge on how to do it guys. Kasi mostly visa application needs longer time to prepare until you cut all the documents. Or you finish writing all of them. Kung nagustuhan nyo guys yung vlog ko na to, click the like button. Masaya na ako guys. And if you are not yet subscribed, guys, subscribe in my YouTube channel para manotify kayo if I have new videos about visa application, Shingen visa application, any information guys when it comes to traveling. Additional information guys, print all your documents for visa application in A4 size band paper. See you guys on my next vlog. Thank you for watching.